typically involves, you know, a down payment, good credit, and well, you got to afford the monthly payments, and sometimes it's hard to come up with all of that for people, especially trying to break out of poverty. But one local organization is making that possible, and new this morning on your side's Lisa Smith tells us what it takes to change gears. Yep. Perfect. This isn't your ordinary auto repair shop. All right, Ann, you're on your own. Ann Boland is the car owner and volunteer mechanic how to change out headlights and change oil and change batteries and fix a flat tire. The sweat equity is a condition of her auto purchase through the nonprofit group Changing Gears. They sell cars for low cost and no interest to people in need. Where we take in donated cars, restore them, and then sell them to people who are working their way out of poverty so they can overcome the barrier of transportation. Even though public transportation is generally available around town, getting around without a car isn't easy. Ashley Keith says having a car through changing gears just makes life easier. I had to get a car because I have a very active seven-year-old son and a very busy work schedule. It's called trip chaining when you, on your way to work, you might run some errands or on the way home, you pick up your kids and stop at the store and on the bus, it's just not possible. The program also requires participants to complete financial literacy classes, which adds to their financial confidence. It was an important milestone for me from a financial standpoint to be able to purchase a car of my own. Lisa Smith, nine on your side.